Ourselves is about empathy. It's also about the way in which we construct our identity. Uh, sideways to that, it's perhaps about how technology has helped us establish identities and how it prevents us from actually revealing something of ourselves. So a lot of it is actually about the way in which identity is quite fluid, uh, deceptive, um, and how it's far hard in certain ways to really locate the true self. We do that by investigating a number of things in the exhibition, such as uh, personas, uh, invented characters. Uh, we look at the way in which media has shaped the identity of, say, women. Uh, we look at the way in which video has um, taken up the position of photography, the way in which photography, in fact, fixes a person for a slight moment, but that, that's not the real person. And then we look at the uh, intersubjective strategies that artists are particularly interested in when they're um, trying to develop certain aspects of transference between themselves and the audience and the audience back to them. So we're looking at establishing ways of reading beyond the immediate identity or persona of someone to perhaps an evolved set of um, identities, which includes the audience. The Rinika Dijinska piece uh, in the show where children narrate uh, their feelings and attitudes and observations of an unseen painting is a fantastic project. Uh, we as the audience watch the children describe, but as they describe, we start to think about describing them and we start to understand them through what they say. The preoccupations with death and whether or not perhaps she's been in trouble and this may be why she looks sad uh, are incredibly interesting uh, things for children to be revealing about themselves. There's also this lovely thing where we actually witness consensus shaping, the way in which the group dynamic forms an opinion and falls apart. You seem to have a lot of people telling you who you are, so I've actually thought less and less about who I actually am. And I've been content to let people say, you know, at one point strident or opinionated or fragile or needy or whatever you happen to be on the particular day you meet someone. I've never really had to assess it or decide upon that because who I am is constantly shifting. David Rosetsky's a portrait of Kate Blanchett is a very sophisticated investigation of the way in which portraiture proposes to show us an individual or the character of an individual, but in fact actually never can really show us that person. It's a, it's a type of person or it's a kind of person. And Kate Blanchett is a perfect subject for David's investigation because she narrates the processes of characterization, she performs those processes and then she performs this dance which is choreographed by Lucy Gehring. And each time that this happens, David is operating the lens of the camera, refocusing, shifting, just to show us that, in fact, portraiture is um, actually somewhat deceitful, that, that it's almost impossible to fix the, the shifting subject. So it's a, it's a, it's a very, very complicated um, project, but it's also very delightful. British artist Gillian Waring has often been interested in families also and in Two Into One, one of her very famous projects, she has a mother simultaneously translating the words that are spoken by her sons and vice versa. I think children should have should have rights to say to be rude back to grown ups. So whenever I mean whenever someone's rude to me or grown up, I don't think they should get away with it. Well, I think I am someone who likes to be dominated because all the men I've had are quite dominating to me, so there must be something in that that I do like it. It's a quite uncomfortable project because as she is listening to what they say, she is also hearing you know, their honest and sometimes critical thoughts about her. They, in turn, listen to her often quite sentimental uh, observations of them 
and they tend to smirk. They're rather pleased with themselves. It's quite cruel. This is a quite cruel piece, uh, and Gillian is quite unflinching in the way she investigates some of these things. Once again, that kind of inherited uh, idea of identity shaped through the family complex.